Okay, we're back. Viva Pinatas. Oh, hello. I'll take the free money. What's in here? Anything? Championship belt. This guy's got cheese, huh? I'll have to remember that. Oh, I can't do anything here yet. But San Lucita, or Santa Lucita, is basically the other town in this game. There's one more, but we can't do anything there yet. We went to the Temple of Rain, huh? Oh, that's a quest we could do after. Oh, tortillas. We'll have to remember that. this guy oh god the great combo chicken welcome to the dojo if you expect to take on Calica and the force of evil you have much to learn let's start with your basic three hit combo I guess we're gonna practice on this guy And this is basically the place where you practice your combos. And this isn't mandatory, but it's a good way to get money. And a good way to just practice your moves. At least it was a way to get money. I don't think it's a way to get money anymore. Let's not continue for now. Um, is this where... First things first. Let's go down here. Get that extra piece of health. One more and then we get a full upgrade. And it seems he's in the wall, but we can't get in there yet, so... Desperate, huh? A grand enchilada. We gotta bring her cheese. Someone mentioned cheese and now beans, chili, and tortillas. Okay, so we know someone here has cheese. No, not you. We got the tortilla. Oh, I did not mean to do that. 
We know that something's there, so let's go and get that real quick. And that gives us a skull. Will we fill the skulls up? That will give us an extra bar of stamina. Actually, I believe the cheese guy might have been down below. So. Okay, we got the cheese. Now we just need to find the beans and the chili. Oh, that's this place again. Um, I don't think we can get everything now. But I want to see if I can get as much as I can. Also, that... that is... Yeah. You're going to see a ton of, like, internet references... on the wall... on the walls and shit. Nothing you can really do about that. That's actually kind of a an aesthetic complaint I have about this game, is that there's way too many internet references and it kind of dates the game. I know that sprite. Now, well, let's go and give the, uh, the cheese and tortilla to the, the cook lady. Anything in here? Uh, we can't do anything in there yet. You got anything? Oh, we can't give her anything until we get... until we get it all. Okay, that, that makes sense. Oh, we got the beans. So it's the chili we need to find. Crashers. Oh god. More references. Really? This guy was just gonna eat a chicken. Like that. Olmec? Oh my god. Legends of the Hidden Temple reference? You're a fucking weirdo. Anyway, let's start the Temple of Rain. As the name implies, it's raining. Play as the old man. The old man has infinite stamina, but he takes more damage easily. Ah, so apparently, uh, bad shit's been going down the temple. It looks very menacing. Also, I love this song. 
and oh my god, we are now in the world of the dead. But now that also means we can enter the temple. to you. Well, I'm not quite the husky luchador. Well. <laughs> He's off with flame face to prepare that girl for the ceremony. See, you're into that kind of fun, huh? <laughs> this lady kind of gives me a bad vibe. Anyway, yeah, another forest room. These little guys ain't nothing though. And the gimmick of the Temple of Rain is we are going to be playing with going back and forth between the world of the living and the world of the dead. Anything in here I should know about? Oh, he looks pleasant. I am not even going to fuck with that yet. I'm going to explore before I do anything else with that thing. Oh, okay. I can't do anything else. Never mind. We're going to do something with that thing. Okay, so basically now, now that we can go back and forth between the world of the living and the world of the dead, the one, when you when they're blacking out like that, it means you just gotta switch the plane of existence. Oh, these enemies. Okay. So, with these enemies, they'll occasionally glow red, and when they do that, that means they're about to hit, like, an attack on you. And when they, when they do their attack, you basically have to dodge. Right, go up this thing. Hey, he chose a statue. Uh, I'm you. I'll break whatever the fuck I want. How about that? Didn't feel goaty enough. But now we can wall jump. Uh, 
Ah, uh, feels good to be able to do wall jump. Oh boy, I think we might have woke up the big bad downstairs. The big bad BC. In fact, let's not go that way either. What do you gotta say? Oh, sweet mother of God. And this is where the game starts really, you know, bringing home the point that you're going to be doing a lot of platforming. Now we can get up here with wall jumps. Oh. That's actually pretty tricky looking. I can't do anything about that yet, I don't think. Alright, let's go up here and try now. Let's see if we can do anything if we're in the world of the dead. Or not. Apparently, we can't. I think I'm actually going to switch. Oh, you know what? Let's get some abilities. Let's get a health jump. Actually, we have quite a bit here, so... Let's get a stamina chunk, too. And that's all we can get for now. And for costumes... Let's play this to for a while. There has to be some way I could do that. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think of that. Remember, you gotta combine your abilities in this game. There we go. And now we can just wall jump our way back. It wasn't so bad. It's been so long since I've played this game that I basically forgot about that. Oh. Okay, now I'm getting fucking beaten. This room is pretty big. 
How the hell did I get hit? A bone must have hit me or something. Oh, shit. It's a trap. There's the hard piece. Well, we can't get up there, so... Oh, wait, what the hell am I thinking? Yes, we can. God. Oh, hey, another statue. breaking my stuff. No. Olmex headbutt. So basically now we have a means of breaking yellow blocks. Um, can we buy anything? Let's buy a stamina chunk. And if I can, let's buy this too. And yeah, as you buy more stuff, they go up in price. Back to one. And yeah, we can use the head button there. But now that we have Olmec's headbutt, we can now explore this place even further. You know what, I'm getting rid of these guys first. They're a bigger pain in the ass than the red guy, than the red skeleton. Fill my health right there. Um, I don't have enough money. I 
And I think this is the way I just came, so. I'm gonna bother with this. But, what we can do now is go here. I mean, more of them skull tokens. Uh, I can't wall jump over this. So what we're going to have to do... That. The swirly portals take you from the land of the living to the land of the dead. And you're going to need to do this in order to... You know, solve puzzles and whatnot. I believe this is the way out. And it is. So we're not going to go this way. Land of the Dead, I can't. Let's go to the Land of the Living. I guess we're going to the Land of the Dead anyway! Can't do anything more here. What about up here? Oh, here we go. Anything over here? Another checkpoint? What does this lead to? Oh, hey, another Olmec statue. No. God, no. God, I hate these things. Well, that can work better. so long since I played the actual game that I don't remember how to solve these goddamn platforming challenges.
No, that don't help at all. Maybe I have to like... I know I have to be able to go that way somehow. I mean... Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I get it. There we go. I knew I figured it out. this lady. These large, multicolored... Looks like a fish mixed with a cat snake. He's about the size of a house. Yes, because I could totally hide something that huge. Where would I put him? In my belt? So basically, the story behind this woman is that she's working for the bad guy, Calico, and she has a, a thing for him, but he wants El Presidente's daughter as his wife. Yeah, whatever. Of course. Oh, the, uh, the, the pet thing? Yeah, he's the, he's the big bad monster. Oh, I gotta see this cutscene again. No, oh, okay, good. Calico is the big bad of the entire game. In fact, you'll find out just how much of an asshole he actually is later on. God damn it. You know what, actually? Oh, what the hell is in here? Another heart piece. Good to know, good to know. Really? Oh god, I almost did something horrible. Should be it. 
Wow. That might have fucked me over. Damn it. Okay. Um, how much money do I have? Not enough for any of those, but I have enough for another health chunk. I think I'm going to take it. Um, oh, I could start buying uh, some of these. Alright, we're the chicken man now. Health regenerates, but stamina regenerates slowly. Honestly, that's not as much of an issue as you would think. Wait, what the hell was that? Yeah, yeah, you have a bad feeling because something bad's gonna happen. Oh god, run! Oh god. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. That's the one thing I hate about the wall jump ability. Once you touch a wall, you basically cling to it. And it can kind of screw you over sometimes. God, that Mario reference.
God. She's pissed. I think it's safe to say she's pissed. Huh. Well, let's get the hell out of here. I'll take that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to use him to go back to town. So now we're back in San Lucita. And... Well, things didn't go quite as much as we planned. But I'm actually going to break the stream up here, and next time we continue with the adventure. And by next time, I literally mean within seconds. <laughs>